Word up, everybody. Lately, I've been rather disappointed with myself for the lack of content. The last video I made for my main channel was uploaded almost 10 months ago, and I uploaded the last episode of Mystery Brony Theater 4000 almost a year ago. I will confess, while I still do our weekly podcast every Sunday, I still feel like there isn't any real professional quality to it. That's not to say I hate doing it and don't put effort into it. In fact, we recently made some changes to the show by adding segments, scripted out material, new animations, and much, much more. However, since everything's already made, I only have to do a few edits, and posting it is just too simplistic. Now, to be fair, the reason behind this lack of content is due to my regular job, web design work, and video work that I do for other people. There's also the times where I need to spend time with my friends and family as well, and by the time I get done that, I'm usually burnt out. And like I said, this disappoints me, it makes me feel lazy, and I hate that. And you guys keep telling me not to worry about it and to take my time, and I respect your kind words. I'm happy that you guys are willing to wait. However, I still feel like I owe you guys something, and I know that if I wait longer, then my viewer base is going to decline. And every time I try to force myself to do something, I end up not doing it. It makes me feel upset and even more lazy. So I decide to sit down and figure things out. And after thinking things over, I now have a plan, and I think I found ways to motivate myself to keep myself moving forward at a better pace. I recently finished Hoof Rock, and I still need to work on a new video for No Ordinary Balloon Man. Right after, I am moving full speed ahead with World's Incarnation. Because of this, I'm putting all my other video clients on hold. I might make some exceptions, but that only depends on the video and how complex it's going to be. I will still do Ant since it's easy to edit, as well as any current website clients that I have. And to motivate myself even further, I did three things. Number one, I made this video for the purpose of for lack of a better phrase, putting myself in the spotlight so I can't go back now. I actually did this before when I made the first trailer for Whirl. Heck, I even did it when I made the first trailer for Snow on Mount Silver a long time ago. Number two, in the recent episode of Hoof Rock, I included a teaser trailer for Whirl's Incarnation with a set release date of Spring 2021. Now be aware, as usual, this date might be subject to change. You can see the episode in the description below. And number three, I am going to be streaming my editing on the Shaded Sight Studios Twitch page and occasionally on my main channel, both of which you can find in the description. I feel that by streaming my editing, it shows you guys proof that I am taking this seriously. Now these streams will have no set schedules, so you'll need to follow our Twitch page and subscribe to my main channel in order to know when I'll be doing this. Now I know I've mentioned this numerous times before, but I'm going to say it again. This project is really, really important. Because if I can pull off what I want to pull off in World's Incarnation, then that also means I can do my dream project for my main YouTube channel and website. I can't tell you about this project, but to pull it off, it will require very professional editing and animating. As I can muster. I mean, you know, my animation isn't professional. <laughs> but the point is, World's Incarnation is going to require me to learn these types of skills. So that's all I have to say. I now just threw myself into the pit. Be it a shark pit or a pit of glass or whatever. The point is, I'm basically ready to go. And again, thank you all for your kind words and patience. I just feel like you deserve something, and I want the patience you've been giving me to pay off. Thank you for listening, and let's keep moving forward.